this is be fun. But I'm fucking beyond pumped for it is Eddie Alvarez and Justin Gagey. Justin Gagey is a fucking savage. And so is Eddie Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez is a beast. And I think a lot of people are looking past Alvarez. You know, Alvarez had just come off of that brutal knockout loss, uh, kind of a humiliating knockout loss to um, Conor McGregor. And then after that, he is involved in the the no contest uh, versus um, Dustin Poirier. I believe that was an eye poke. Um, that is, I'm trying to remember how that fight went down, but I do not. I feel like someone got poked in the eye. Uh, either way, it's a no contest. So that obviously doesn't move him up the ladder any. And he's got to uh, regroup. Yeah, no contest. Here it is. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This was a... Okay, now I remember what it was. It wasn't an eye poke. It was a knee to a downed opponent. And it was a fucking phenomenal fight while it played out against Dustin Poirier. They were going back and forth. Now I remember the fight. And um, Poirier had Alvarez in some deep trouble. And Alvarez rebounded. And Alvarez, I believe, hit Dustin Poirier with a knee while he was down. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And interesting. Yeah, see, this is what happened. Poirier, um, Alvarez, you know, Herb Dean was defending it, saying that Alvarez didn't intentionally knee Poirier. And if I remember the fight, it was a crazy war. Uh, Alvarez had been rocked. Poirier had been rocked. Poirier was bloodied. And um, Alvarez hit him with an unintentional knee um, that could have resulted in a disqualification win for Poirier. And Poirier was saying that he looked at it as a win, which is uh, interesting. Um, so anyway, Poirier re rebounded from that fight obviously, and uh, stopped Anthony Pettis in his last fight. So that the division is just crazy and unbelievably hot right now. Um, and everybody waiting to see what the fuck happens with Conor McGregor rebounding. But Eddie Alvarez with the no contest and before that, the KO lost to Conor McGregor desperately needs a win. And he's coming in there against one of the most fucking savage guys in the division. Justin Gagey showed in that Michael Johnson fight what he's made of. And a lot of people were very excited to see him inside the octagon. He had been fighting in the World Series of Fighting and looking like an absolute monster. But against what a lot of people thought was just not the same caliber of competition as the UFC offered. And so they wanted to see what would happen if he fought a real world-class fighter. And what we saw in the Michael Johnson fight is a Justin Gagey who fights... Uh, I don't want to say reckless, but he puts himself in danger. And it's one of the things that makes him so exciting. He forces his will on people. He's a ferocious striker and uh, an excellent wrestler as well and just fucking puts it on fighters. He tests their will. He puts tremendous pressure on fighters. And the the fight with Michael Johnson was just a pleasure to watch. Just so much fun and so fucking crazy. There was so much chaos in that fight. And a lot of people were introduced to Justin Gaethje from that fight. The hardcore fans had known him already from the World Series of Fighting and had heard about him through the internet. But the the UFC fans and uh, the people that were watching that night, they really got a chance to be treated to just the kind of chaotic fight that is really going to bring like a, 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 the casual fan when they see a guy like Justin Gagey fight, it's really going to make you uh, a fan of this kid. Just his style. It's just, there's very few guys. I mean, other than, I mean, uh, Matt Brown, who I talked about before, but even 
Matt Brown is capable of winning so many different ways, whereas Gagey, he's going to probably try to knock you out or get – I mean, he's even said himself that he might get knocked out. You're probably going to see me get knocked out, he said, uh, over the next few years. He's got that mindset, this kill or be killed mindset. And uh, it's just absolutely fascinating to see this kid – compete inside the octagon because he's so fucking crazy because he's such a fucking animal inside the octagon he just got this uh undeniable killer instinct and indomitable spirit and just there's levels to this game there's levels physically and he's at a very high level physically but there's also levels mentally and that's what excites me about Justin Gagey is his the the mental level he just has zero quit in him, and he's 100% ferocious. So him fighting a fucking animal like Eddie Alvarez, that's just a recipe for a good time. And we're going to get to see that. And we're going to get to see that next Saturday night live on pay-per-view.